you hate when that happens. Got a pretty good lie right next to the green. All you gotta do is carry it over the bunker, get it close to the hole, get up and down. My name is David Nesbitt, and I'm the Player Development Director at Bernardo Heights Country Club in San Diego, California. And I'm gonna give you a tip on how to not only identify your lie when you're uh, around the green, and how it's gonna help you choose not only maybe a different club, but also a slightly different swing technique in order to carry the bunker comfortably, stop the ball on the green, and get it close to the hole. Check it out. Okay, so here's the situation. My golf ball is sitting on a tuft of grass in a real fluffy area, and it looks pretty innocent from here. But when I put the club down behind it, you can see that my club actually can probably go about half an inch to an inch underneath the ball. So when I'm using too loft of the club, it's easy for that ball or the club to slide underneath the ball and the ball kind of rolls up the face, doesn't compress the ball as much, and I end up leaving the ball short. So when you are in this situation, I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to not only swing differently, but also choose a different club to produce a better result. Okay, so now that we've identified that the lie is fluffy and the ball is sitting considerably above the ground, we need to make a little bit of a swing change to ensure that our club doesn't go underneath the ball, pop it up, leaving it short in this bunker. So we're going to have to sh shallow out our swing. And what do, I, what do I mean by that? We don't want to be picking the club up steep and then coming down steep. That You're going to risk sliding the club head underneath the golf ball. We're going to try a little shallower swing and a shallower follow through. What that does is it keeps the face of the club from sliding underneath the ball. It's gonna be more similar to a chipping or a putting stroke than it is to a steeper normal flop shot or, or pitch shot. Okay, so let me, let me show you what that looks like with my shallow swing, the ball sitting up on a tuft of grass. And we'll see if there's a little different result from my first try. Okay. okay, I'm going to try the same shot, same location, same lie, but I'm going to use a 52 instead of a 58 or 60. Um, again, this will give us a little more, a little less loft in order to ensure that the club doesn't slide under the ball. Okay, so same setup. I put the ball about the middle of my stance. Um, go ahead and take that shallow swing back, shallow swing forward, and let's see what happens. It's even closer than the other two with that when I use my 58 degree wedge. Once again, my name is David Nesbitt. I'm the player development director at Bernardo Heights Country Club. Thanks for watching my tip and look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.